Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I will be showing you guys a video on how I created my OBS settings for my Twitch stream. Now I've had a lot of uh, a lot of compliments on my layout uh, when I'm when I'm streaming on Twitch, and I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do it. Now, first of all, I'm using OBS, and when I downloaded the OBS, I am actually using the default settings, and they seem to be working fairly well. So that step is pretty easy, that I don't have to do it manually. Now, when you are becoming a Twitch streamer, if you're using the OBS, what you're going to be doing is once you found your stream key, you're going to go into settings, you're going to go to stream, and then you're going to input your stream key. Now it's very important that you don't show anyone this key because if they have it, then they can stream on your account, which you may or may not want happen. So please make sure that you don't give out your stream key unless it is someone that you completely trust. Okay, so now the scenes. You can actually create multiple scenes. Um, I generally only stream on Lee Chess, so I only have a Lee Chess setup, but if I want, I can create a chess.com setup as well if I start streaming on chess.com. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my layout. Now my layout, I created it through Photoshop and then I made, I made that document into a JPEG. So now that it's a JPEG, I can input it as an image. So I'm going to call it my follow bar because you will see right the second that my layout has my name and all of the different social medias people can follow me on. So now if I want to stretch this image, I'm going to be holding control on your keyboard and then I'm going to drag this corner until it's the right fit. That looks great. Okay, so the next step, I kind of like to go straight to the video capture device. Now it's up to you whether or not you are going to add one to the stream or not. I do, hello there. So I am going to add it now. If you want to create, if you want to make it bigger, we're just gonna use control and then we're gonna drag it to make it bigger. I actually want to make it smaller and I'm gonna put my webcam like this. Okay, next step. Now the next step what I want to do is I want to add uh, my Chrome window where I'm gonna be playing Glee Chess on. So first I'm gonna to go to this plus and I'm gonna use window capture. Do not use display capture because it's going to display your whole entire screen. I like window capture because I tend, you know, I can do other stuff. Like if I need to check my Facebook for a message, then the stream won't know that I needed to check a different, uh, that I needed to check something else on the computer. So I'm going to use window capture. I'm just going to call it Lee Chess. And... I'm going to use C Firefox right on the stream. Perfect. There you go. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now if I want to crop this web page, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Alt. Okay, so we're going to click on Alt, hold Alt, and then you can crop the web page like this. Keep holding Alt, keep holding it until you have cropped the right way. Okay, so now uh, now it's a little bit too small. I want to make it bigger. So we're going to use control. We're going to hold control and then I am going to be moving this until I want it big enough. Okay, now I can move it around. I like that. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so next step. So I already got my layout, I got my webcam, and I got uh, the, the board. 
which is the most important. Now we want to add in Streamlabs. Okay, so if you want to be a, a Twitch streamer, you got to sign yourself up with Streamlabs. It's a very great site where you can add on uh, you can add on things to OBS where uh, it shows like who has followed, subbed, giving you bits, donations, etc. So we're going to go to Streamlabs. You're going to log in via Twitch. And now see, there's these widgets. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go to the alert box. And now you can actually change all of... You can make it the way that you want to. You can add it, you can add an image if you want. You can have it without an image, up to you. And once you have finished creating your alert, we can save it and then copy. So when we add it to OBS, we're going to use the browser source. And I'm going to call it the alert box. Perfect. Now in the URL section, we're going to add we're going to add this and then I am going to add it to the screen. If you want to check it out, if you want to test it, you can test follow. You can go back to your OBS and you can see that now someone is following. And there you go. You can move it around wherever you need it to be on the screen. Now, I like to add in the event list so that if some people missed the little notification that pops up and then it and then it stops. So I created this one. You can tweak it. You can make it the way you want it to look. And then I add another browser source. So an event list. Now people generally like to add this because the people who are viewing or following like to see their name on screen. So I'm going to add it like this. Maybe I can put this one down a little bit. Now, another thing I like to add is the viewers. So if you end up becoming a big view, uh, have, having a lot of viewers on your account, it's good to have them. So once again, you can change however you can make the font size bigger. I copy it and then I add another browser source. So anything that is added through Streamlabs, we're going to be using the browser source. Perfect. Now I can add my little viewer image. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so that was pretty much it. Anything else that you want to add on through Streamlabs, you use the browser source. Remember that when you are stretching the image and if you don't want um, the image to change, you need to use control. You need to hold it. If you are cropping, we're going to be using the alt. And uh, yeah, I hope I made it as easy as possible for you guys. And I hope you have a great day. Please let me know if you want me to create another video on how I created my layout with this woman national master with the, with the Facebook and Instagram link and stuff like that. Let me know below in the comments. Have a good one. Bye.